Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about whether or not King Louis the 17th of France died in prison or if he managed to escape. So King Louis the 17th of France was born on the 27th of March 1785. He was the younger son of King Louis the 16th of France and Queen Marie Antoinette. In 1789 the French Revolution started and Louis and his family were forced to leave their home at the Palace of Versailles and move to Paris, where they spent the next three years as prisoners. On the 21st of June 1791, the family tried to escape their imprisonment. It was known as the Flight to Varennes, but this escape attempt failed and they were returned to Paris. On the 10th of August 1792, an armed mob stormed the place where they were being held prisoner. So Louis and his family sought refuge at the Legislative Assembly. Then on the 13th of August, the family was imprisoned in the Tower of the Temple. On the 11th of December 1792, King Louis XVI of France was separated from his family and his trial began. He was sentenced to death and after his execution, plots were made for his family to try and escape again, but these attempts never happened. On the 3rd of July, little Louis was separated from his mother and given into the care of a cobbler called Anton Simon. He had been chosen as Louis' guardian by the Committee of Public Safety. So there are some tales told uh, mainly by royalist writers saying how mean Anton and his wife were to little Louis. But what these writers have read has not actually been proven. It was said that Louis was encouraged to eat and drink to excess and that he was taught the language of the gutter. And more disturbingly, there were reports that little Louis was raped by prostitutes in order to give him a venereal disease so that they had evidence that Marie Antoinette had committed incest with her son. On the 19th of July 1794, Anton Simon left the temple, but before he left, he had secured a receipt for the safe transfer of Louis. But two days after Anton left, Louis was put into a dark room that was barricaded like the cage of a wild animal. Food was apparently passed through the bars to Louis. Apparently no one visited Louis for about six months. Till the 27th of July 1794 when he was visited by Paul Barras, a French politician. Barras described Louis as suffering from extreme neglect. Louis was taken from his cell and taken outside for some fresh air while his cell was cleaned. But on the 8th of June 1795, little Louis died of tuberculosis. He was buried on the 10th of June in the St Marguerite Cemetery. No stone marked the spot where he was buried. But almost as soon as Louis had been buried, rumours started going around saying that the body that was buried was not that of Louis, and that Louis was alive and had been spirited away by royalist sympathisers. When the Bourbon monarchy was restored in 1814, 100 men came forward saying that they were the lost Dauphin. Here are the stories of the most famous of them. Karl William Nondorf was a clockmaker from Germany. He arrived in Berlin in 1810 saying that he was escaping persecution. Settling in Spandau in 1812, he got married in 1818. Karl was imprisoned between 1825 and 1828 for coining and when he was released from prison he wrote a memoir. He claimed that he was actually Louis the 17th of France. He said that Paul Barras had wanted to save him so had hidden him in a secret area of the Tower of the Temple and had installed a deaf and mute orphan in his place. The orphan died and Louis was smuggled out of the tower in the coffin for the orphan. Paul travelled to Paris in 1833 to assert his claim and even though he couldn't speak that much French he still managed to convince some people that he was the lost dolphin. It was true that he did actually know a lot about the private life of the royal court and that he spoke to the courtiers as if he uh, and he spoke to the courtiers as if he knew them as a child. But Princess Marie Therese, Louis's sister, did not acknowledge Karl at all. She claimed that pictures she saw of Karl did not 
resemble her brother at all and so refused to meet with him. In 1836 Carl sued Marie Therese for property that supposedly belonged to him so the new king of France Louis Philippe had Carl arrested and deported to England. Carl died in the Netherlands on the 10th of August 1845. He still had some people believing that he was little Louis and on his grave was written here lies Louis the 17th king of France. His death certificate reads Charles Louis de Bourbon Duke of Normandy son of his majesty the late Louis the 16th king of France and of her imperial royal highness Marie Antoinette Archduchess of Austria queen of France who both died in Paris Baron de Richemont was uh, another claimant of Louis he was imprisoned for seven years in Milan and when he was released he went to Paris to stake his claim as Louis. His story was that Janine Simon, Anton Simon's wife, was very fond of Louis so smuggled him out of the tower in a basket. Reichmond was arrested again in 1833 and sentenced to 12 months in prison but he escaped and left the country returning in 1840. When Reichmond died the name Louis Charles de France was inscribed on his tomb until the government ordered it to be removed. Reverend Eliezer Williams was a Canadian-American clergyman and missionary of Mohawk descent. One time while visiting Francis Vinton, Eliezer saw a portrait of Anton Simon. Upon seeing the portrait, Eliezer began to tremble, saying of the portrait that it had haunted me day and night as long as I can remember. Francis Vinton was convinced that Eliezer's reaction to the portrait meant that he was the lost Prince Louis. Even though Eliezer claimed that he had no recollection of his early years in France or how he managed to escape. In 1850 Eliezer openly became a pretender to the French throne. According to Eliezer, King Louis Philippe's son came to him and asked him to sign a document abdicating his rights to the throne in favour of Louis Philippe. In return, Eliezer would receive a private pension, but Eliezer refused to do this. Eliezer Williams died in 1858. His plot of 19 acres of land at his Wisconsin home was designated Lost Dolphin State Park by the state in 1947. It was removed from the list of state parks but the land still remains state owned. But it would seem that Louis the son of King Louis the 16th of France and Queen Marie Antoinette did indeed die in the Tower of the Temple. DNA tests have been carried out on Louis's heart which had been taken during his autopsy and a lock of Marie Antoinette's hair that had been cut off when she was a child. These tests showed that the young boy that died in the Tower of the Temple was in fact Louis. So that was a little story about King Louis the 17th of France and if he did indeed die in prison or if he escaped. What do you think? Did Louis die in prison or did he manage to escape and live a full life maybe being one of these people that I mentioned? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!